Hello, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to episode 23 of my Pro Tools 11 video tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to talk about using elastic pitch with vocals. Uh, there's two main things you can do uh, with elastic pitch and vocals. You can uh, make sort of minute tuning changes. If you hear a note that's a little sharp or a little flat, you can counteract that note, note by slightly pushing it up or slightly pushing it down. Um, or you can create large uh, vocal uh, changes, uh, basically pushing a note up a whole step or multiple steps. Um, so just to, to begin, let me show you the, uh, the little excerpt of a session I have here. I basically have um, the music bed of a session I've been working on just rendered down to a, a clip and then the vocals uh, separate. And they say that money can't buy you you must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. So that's that. Not not the whole session, just a little excerpt of it. Let's listen to the vocals by themselves. And they say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. Now this is very subtle, but one of the first things I'm hearing is this phrase right here. Buy you happy, buy you happy. Buy you happiness. She sounds like she's a little sharp, meaning that she's sung the note a little bit too high. It sounds like it's almost like a quarter step or a third of a step, a third of a half step too high. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this note using my selector tool and hitting B. Just break this out into its own clip. Turn on the polyphonic elastic mode. I'm going to right click just on this one clip, go to elastic properties. And I'm going to pitch shift this note down. Now, in the previous episode, we talked about pitch, pitch shifting things down by whole semitones. Now, if you don't remember, there's 12 semitones in an octave. So C to C sharp is one semitone. It's a full note up or, up or down. Ascent is one one hundredth of a semitone. So this allows us to make fine changes, uh, fine tuning changes to our waveform. So just to sort of show you what this can do, if I pull this all the way down, it's going to go down to negative 99, which is almost an entire uh, half step down. Buy you happy, can't buy you happy, can't buy you. Obviously, that's not right. And we can go up to positive 99, which is almost a, a half step higher. Can't buy you happy, can't buy you happy. So she's too high now. So. What I said originally was that I think that she's slightly sharp. Um, I think that the note she sang was a little bit too high. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll this down a bit. Um, let's go to like negative 70. Let's see what that sounds like. Money can't buy you happiness. It seems like, like it's still a little bit too flat. Let's pull it up a bit. The money can't buy you happiness. Same thing, it's just, it seems like it's a little bit too flat. Let's go up to like 40. By the way, you can type it in as well. Hey, that money can't buy you happiness. Slightly, slightly a little bit too flat. Let's type in like negative 35. Money can't buy you happiness. All right, that sounds pretty good to me. Now, it, in a, a better situation, if, if you have the money to do it, you can buy a program like Melodyne or Antares Auto-Tune and it'll sense how out of tune a note is. So I'm not saying that this is a way to, to sort of replace Auto-Tune or Melodyne. It's just, it's a way to, to quickly correct maybe just one note that's out of, out of tune or no, is noticeably out of tune. So for us, the rest of this clip is fine. It's just that one, uh, this one little phrase here that seems like it seemed like it was a little bit too sharp. So we counteract it by lowering the pitch just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I am going to, instead of using polyphonic, I'm gonna use X-Form because X-Form just ends up sounding better in the long run. And just like I showed you in the last video, let's turn the formant enable in. That's gonna preserve the quality of her voice a bit more. But we just have to wait for the note to, uh, the waveform to render here. So just wait a, wait a minute here for this to uh, be fully rendered. 
And I should also mention while this is rendering that when you turn the um, the formant on, a uh, formant enable in, it's going to preserve the quality of her voice a lot better. Um, if you pitch shift things up, they sent, tend to sound a little bit chipmunky. And if you tune them down, um, it just tends to sound a little too dark or low sounding, um, especially for a female voice. So let's listen to this. Money can't buy you happiness. Yeah, that sounds great. So let's just um, render all this together. Shift option three, and I can turn X form off. There we go. So let's just listen to that with the with the music. They say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. Cool. Now the next thing I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna create some harmonies on the part that says buy you happiness and then wrong, wrong, wrong. We're gonna create some artificial harmonies. Now this is an example of creating like a, a, like a large pitch shift, not just a fine pitch shift like we did before. So to do this, I'm gonna duplicate her whole track. You right click on the track name and you go down to duplicate. I'm just gonna say okay to all of this. Makes an exact duplicate down here. I'm gonna rename this harmony. But I have to spell harmony right first. <laughs> Harmony, there you go, harmony. Um, I'm gonna cut out everything except for the parts that um, I want to be harmonized. And they say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. So in my harmony track, I just have the two lines that say, Buy you happiness. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm just going to clean up my edits a little bit here. Add some fades. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. There we go. All right. So here's gonna, here's my what's going to be my harmony track. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to keep this one soloed. For now, just to sort of work with this in real time, I'm going to choose polyphonic. Eventually, by the end, we'll switch this over to, to X form. But polyphonic is going to be a lot um, quicker to work with because it, it can work in real time. Now, in songs that are, are in minor keys, generally you want to harmonize at, at a root harmony of a minor third above the vocal or a major, third, major sixth below the vocal. Um, sometimes it'll be like a minor third below the vocal. Um, there really isn't a hard and fast rule, and there's really no way to tell unless you know exactly what note you're looking at. So when it comes down to, to work like this, it's I mean, you just sort of have to have a good ear for it. It helps to have some music theory training, um, and it helps. I mean, sometimes just trial and error can help too. Um, so basically, what we have here is buy you happiness. It's two notes. Da na 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 na. Um, I can tell you exactly what the two notes are because I can hear it. Um, the song's in the key of F sharp minor. She's singing E, 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 F sharp. So what we want to do is we want to harmonize up a third above the E and a third up above the F sharp within the key of F sharp minor. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on... Actually, first of all, I'm going to separate this into two different clips. Buy you happiness where the pitch changes. So there's a pitch change here where she goes up. Buy you happiness. So it's two notes, the low note and the high note. The low note, I'm gonna right click on it and go to elastic properties. And I'm gonna pull pretty much everything up by three semitones. Three semitones is a minor third. So I'm gonna pull the other clip up by a minor third. I know she sounds like a chipmunk right now. We'll fix that later, but let's listen to that with the vocals. Buy you happiness. Now this one sounds okay. This one sounds a little weird. Um, and the reason for that is that when you harmonize at thirds, you sort of have to jump back and forth between major and minor thirds, depending on the key that you're in. Uh, a major third, believe it or not, is four semitones up. So I'm gonna change this to four instead. 
That sounds a lot better. Let's listen to that with the music. They say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. Cool. So let's do the same thing over here. Let's play with our major and minor thirds. Wrong, wrong. I'm just going to cut this into three different clips. Wrong, wrong, wrong. To start, I'm just going to pull them all up. Three semitones, a minor third. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I can tell you right now, um, this the original melody is A, G sharp, F sharp. So it's basically like May, Re, Do in a F sharp minor scale. So when we if we harmonize up in the key, it's going to be a major third, a minor third, a minor third. So these two can stay the same. This one, I'm going to shift up to uh, four instead of three. Wrong, wrong, wrong. And we play them together. Wrong, wrong, wrong. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's just clean up my edits. Clean up my edits over here as well. Let's see what that sounds like the whole thing with the music. And I'm gonna pull the harmony down quite a bit too. The harmony doesn't have to be so loud. They say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. So that sounds pretty good to me, uh, tonally. Like, well, the, the the notes make sense to me. That tonally though. This one's just start, it just sounds like a chipmunk to me. Buy you happiness. So, like I said before, the, the really the main way we can um, make this work for us and make it sound more nat, like a natural pitch shift, is what we can do is we use X form instead of polyphonic. We use polyphonic to find the pitches that work and do the pitch shifting, but then we can just switch over to X form to get the high quality processing. So we're gonna have to wait, wait just a bit here for each of these clips to uh, to load, but it should sound better. Buy you happiness. Now it's still chipmunky because we haven't turned on the formant enable in button, so we gotta do that as well. And we're gonna have to once again wait uh, for this to process. And there we go, let's listen to this. Buy you happiness. Wrong, wrong, wrong. So it's a little bit less chipmunky. It's, it doesn't sound like just a straight pitch shift. It's, it sounds like the formants are a little bit more aligned with her, her original vocal. Now, one thing I like to do with backing harmonies like this is I like to add EQ to it. I'm just gonna use the stock EQ in Pro Tools. I'm gonna turn on the high pass filter, turn on the low pass filter, roll the uh, Q, which is essentially the slope all the way up, and then just create like a little like sort of band pass filter out of it, scooping out the highest most frequencies and the lowest most frequencies. Because the backing harmony doesn't need to be really present, really. And they say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm gonna pull the level down uh, quite a bit too. Money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. All right, so let's listen to all of this now with the music in the back. Bye. They say that money can't buy you happiness. You must be spending it wrong, wrong, wrong. There you go. So you can create artificial uh, harmonies uh, just using the stock tools and Pro Tools. Now, it's again, it's not quite as strong of a tool like Melodyne where you can visually see what you're doing. If you know what's going on in your head, it's it's actually pretty easy to work with. This is the way I used to create vocal harmonies before I used Melodyne, and it worked just fine. It just, it took a lot of time to do this. So, you know, I'm sorry if I lost you on that last part in terms of major and minor thirds and harmonizing, but you have to understand the fundamentals of music and music theory to create harmonies like this. Otherwise, you're just sort of, you know, you're it's trial and error. You know, you sit there and shift things up and down until it sounds right. And if that's what you have to do to get the job done, then fine, you can do that. It's it's a matter of, you know, you know, does the final result still sound good? You know, again, I apologize if, if you didn't quite catch the tail end of that. I just wanted to make sure that I showed um, how to harmonize vocals with X form, even if I, if half of my audience was completely confused by that because they don't have any formal music training. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.